about to go into the concourse project for the very first time in Austin, Texas, and I'm here to see Deborah DeLuca. All right, so I'm here um, with a bunch of my friends. It's their first time too, and um, but I also know a bunch of people in there as well that live here in Austin and just normally do this rave stuff. But yeah, it's my very first time. When I lived here, this was not a thing, so I've always wanted to check it out, so I waited until there was somebody good to come back. So I made the trip from Miami to Austin for Deborah DeLuca. So let's all go. All right, so here's the side of it. And you can hear the music already. So this is a parking situation. So it's like very much warehouse. This is warehouse vibes. All right, let's go. The line. Doors open up at 10. This place closed at 2. We're definitely not in Miami. Oh my God, I'm so excited. How do you feel? For your first little warehouse rig. Oh, you're that man. Okay. Techno show. Techno, techno, techno. Okay. Walking in. So this is a security check. They check your tickets and then they check your ID and this is the little back check. And look at all the fig trees. Okay, we got some merch. Bathrooms. So this is my first time. I have no idea what it looks like. More bath. Okay, there's a little outside section. Hang on. Outside section. So when we're sweating our ass off later. My first time at the Cockroach Project!
I would be here every weekend, popping off. Um, but no, this is cool. I'm gonna show you uh, the little outside section. So we got bathrooms. It looks like there's like a little food truck right here. A bar. You zoom out. And then it's a little chilly right now in Austin, so there's heat lamps, but it feels so good actually. So yeah, there's a, like a little spot to take pictures. So this is the outside section of Concourse Project. And these are my friends. So let's do a quick little recap on my experience um, at the Concourse Project. So this was my very first time. And so I was born and raised in Austin. I moved out of Austin June 2021. And my friend Aide told me that it came about May 2021 um, for seismic, I think. I could be wrong. But either way, the, it didn't start popping off until I already left Austin. And so let me just tell you, if I still lived in Austin, I would be at that venue every time that there was an artist that I liked, which would probably be every weekend because I loved this venue so much. So let's get into it. So the location is in, I guess, like Southeast Austin. I'm going to put up a map here. It's by the airport. So it's not like in the heart of the city downtown. It is like kind of like off the beaten path. Um, but that's okay. So just keep that in mind. It's um, by the airport. Um, the ticket prices for this venue are like pretty damn good. So to see Deborah DeLuca for $25 is amazing. She's a techno goddess. So, and that was tier two. So that's a very like plus side of this venue is that tickets seem to be pretty affordable. Um, let's see. So this is a warehouse and had the best freaking vibes like that ultimate ultra dark rave vibe that's what that is like the ultimate rave rave vibe and i loved it so much big ass warehouse it was dark the lights were amazing the sound like all of it just super dark i keep saying that and uh, probably like to me like the the like darkness of it really fed into like that the heavy like techno vibe since i was there for a techno show so damn good um it since it is a warehouse there is plenty of space like i walked in there i was just in awe because my venue here in miami that is similar and like that they bring in the same artist is space which is a club and as awesome as space is and goes for 24 hours at a time it's small in there it's lacking space and so i kind of don't like really going to the shows here because of how small and crowded it gets um but this like big ass warehouse 
has ample space like it, and it just feels good like it feels like you're able to breathe because the ceilings are just so high and just so wide and it's just it's massive um and then there are two levels so there's like the big bottom floor and then the upper deck which i thought was like maybe vip no anybody can go up there um was very big and spacious too and there's lots of uh there's places to sit up there places to move and then the view up against the balcony to look over is amazing just being able to see everybody on the floor and shuffling and dancing and vibing was amazing so um the lighting i feel was just top tier like i was just in awe looking at these lights and lasers going crazy and it just looks so cool like being in such a dark space and then just having these lights just like firing off you know everywhere and you know it was a techno show so i don't know how different it is to go to say maybe like a house show or a dub show or you know whatever or if they just keep that same kind of like dark you know ambience i guess um for every show but either way 10 out of 10 it, it was great the lighting the production the sound all of it it is really loud so take precaution um i should have brought my earplugs but i didn't i forgot but yeah i would recommend getting earplugs like you should be wearing earplugs at every like um festival or event anyways to protect your hearing in the long run and there were two sets of bathrooms so there's bathrooms on the inside and then on the outside as well very clean lots of stalls like we always love a clean bathroom so keep that up um, if you want some fresh air there is a pretty big patio section outside so I attended this event in what's today March beginning of March so it, it is a little bit chilly and also so there were heat lamps out there so that was nice like if you wanted to step outside to cool down you could but then if you got cold the heat lamps were there plenty of places to sit there's a bar out there as well um bathrooms and a food uh, food truck if you get hungry I didn't go check to see what kind of food that the food truck had but that is an option and then if you're a drinker there are plenty of bars on the inside and like I said there's one on the outside I wasn't drinking so, um but yeah it was good that my friends for my friends that were drinking or anybody that drinks like there were ample bars and I never saw them get like crazy with crazy lines or anything like that but I do love about this place um so most uh, most places should always offer free cups of water but some places don't like in miami at space you have to buy a bottle of water um so that kind of sucks i just think that any that free cups of water should be a thing i get paying for bottles of water but free cups should always be a thing in my opinion especially at these kind of shows there's people that partake in substances i don't uh, but still if i'm just completely sober i still want water hello um but what I love about this place is that they have a table off to the side with those big like orange jugs and all these cups. So you can just come and go and get water as you please. And I think that that is just such a cool feature. And let's see, there is free parking as well. And there's ample parking too, because like this venue is, you know, kind of out in the sticks. So it's like on a pretty good plot of land, plenty of parking. So that was awesome and this venue is also where seismic dance event is held so i've never been to seismic i'm gonna go to my very first seismic in november um so i'm gonna go back home for that and yeah um again aid was telling me about you know how it is they use the inside and the outside and all that so i'm very excited and at this point i think that the only host like electronic shows there i'm not sure if there are other like i don't know if there's like rap shows or rock shows if you know let me know down in the comments i'm really not sure um but yeah overall the conquerors project is such a good venue and i've i've been trying to go to like the major venues in the united states so i've been to the brooklyn mirage obviously space here in miami um radius in chicago and I haven't been out to any of the ones in LA, like Academy or Exchange, but The Conqueror's Project, I give it 10 out of 10, recommend, two thumbs up. If you're in Austin and there um, happens to be a show, check it out or make the trip like I did. My family does live there though, so I'm not spending any money really. Um, but yeah, Conqueror's Project was an amazing time and I cannot wait to see what it looks like for Seismic. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more festival food and flying. And my next video is going to be a major announcement. Um, very exciting. 
And so yeah, subscribe so you know uh, what I'm going to be announcing in my next video. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.